this video, let's get acquainted with our invoices page. Invoices are made for clients and available only to team administrators. You can make it for internal clients and clients imported from the integrated tools. Please watch our video dedicated to clients to find out uh, how to create them. After that, I strongly recommend go to the invoices settings and templates. Um, settings is the place where you can apply universal time rounding date format and time and expense grouping which will be used across all invoices that you create and this is the place where you can enter the default tax discount and due terms and another important thing it's called template uh, this is where you can create uh, your custom structure and uh, call our lines with your titles as well as add some additional columns and uh, these templates are good when you'd like to translate your invoice into another language use it for a quote or an estimate where you use different words and so on so after you enter your settings and create at least one template you can create your invoice so here you choose the template to use select a client and then you can choose what projects you'd like to include on your invoice currently we have two types of projects time and materials and fixed it's impossible to invoice them all together so let's first make an invoice for the time and material project. Um, when you choose a project, you can go further and uh, limit the period of your invoice time. And in addition to showing um, time, you can also include expenses to shop together with this time. If you uncheck both of parents, you will create a kind of free form invoice which you can again use to make an estimate for a client and fill it in uh, with your own titles and amounts so I'm going to choose my period and create this invoice in this draft I can see how my time is grouped according to merge tags we are allowed to use and by using different tags you can show different type of information which is real and comes from your tools where you reported hours. If I change it here I will change the look of my line item. Additionally, I can additionally I can enter my titles here, update numbers, and so on. I can update time and rate columns as well as change the amount but it's important to understand that the change will apply only on this invoice it won't change uh, the actual results in your reports or other dashboards now I can save it and what I see is the option to send the invoice by email, edit it, enter some internal notes, download this invoice, mark it as paid or sent, or change the template structure and delete this invoice entirely. Now I'm going to create an invoice 
for the fixed fee project and I can do it from another place, namely the clients page, where I can open the client menu and choose to create invoice. As you can see, there is no option to include expenses on this invoice with fixed project. When I create a draft, I also don't see an option to use merge tags to group my time because we don't show it. But it's still possible to add some other text here in this description as well as create your own custom line items. As for the fee that appears as your billable amount, you can partially invoice it by changing the number right here. And if you save this invoice now, you will see the remaining sum appearing as uninvoiced, meaning that you can create a new invoice and include another portion or all amount on it. Lastly, let's talk about the invoices page. It shows the bar chart where you can see what was invoiced and what's the status of it. If you don't want to see it, you can hide it. There are different filters and a grouping option which helps you to uh, show uh, the invoices ordered in a way you'd like them to be ordered. You can delete your invoice, change its status and send by email without opening it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. If you still have questions about this page, please feel free to contact us at ask at everhour.com or click on this green question mark button to read our support materials.